Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I thought I would share with you some embellishment kits that I've made for junk journals. I have been making a few of these here and there and posting them in my shop, and this one will be in my shop as well, and I have three of them, so these are the three that I have. So I thought I'd quickly go through the components that are inside here. There are over 50 pieces inside this kit and this one is all themed around blue images. So we've got little journaling cards. This one is a journaling card with some notebook paper and I've sewn some ribbon and this one has some fuzzy trim on it. Here's another variety. This one is a little notepad that has little blue pieces of paper. This is a desk calendar for the week and I just thought that would be kind of cool to use in a junk journal. This is three yards of eyelash trim in blue. This is a card that I stamped so it has some snowflake stamps on it but I just like the blue colors. Here is a scrap of scrapbook paper that's been folded in half but you could use that as a little journaling note. Here is a page that I made. This is using the shaving cream and dye ink uh, refills as a technique and I die cut it so you can kind of see how it bled through on the back. Here's a little die cut shapes that I've made that can be tuck spots. This one's like a corner and then here's like a little label that you could use, put something in the center. Some more die cut shapes. This one's kind of a iridescent or pearlescent that's what I want to say pearlescent view to it and then here is a doily type shape and then here is another little label some more journaling cards this one has some trim that has the fuzzies on it here's a little pocket with a little note card inside of it my idea was that I thought if I shared all of these that when you go to make a junk journal, especially if you're doing blue themes, you have just about everything you need embellishment wise. There's a little pocket here I've sewn and then this can be glued down on three sides. So you can have a pocket back here, 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 and here. So it's a nice little thing. This was left over because I was punching out these little dragonflies and I thought well it could be pasted to another piece and made a little tuck spot or pocket out of that. Here's some more little corner spots that you can put on your page and add things to. This is a mixed media card. This is an old punch card for a computer system and then I've just kind of done a little a little mixed media on top of it with some paint and Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is a letterhead or stationary page. This is lavender inside a piece of mulberry and so it smells really good. I made these little tuck spots that you can glue down on the top of your page. Here's a couple of embellished paper clips that I made. And this is an embellished paper clip using the technique that Rachel Reed shared in our inside the Friendly Junk Journal Facebook group. And so it will attach right onto and be flush to the top. So I just thought that was a neat little thing. So I made one for each of the kits. And these are just, again, tuck spots that you can glue or labels that you can glue anywhere you like. Here's a little folded pocket that has a tiny little journaling card in it and then you can put things behind if you only glue down on the three sides. Here are three pieces of denim blue stationery. Here is a little envelope that I made and it has a little card inside so you can add more embellishment to the front of this. You could also stamp or add embellishment to the front of that and then you'll have a cute little envelope that you can put in your journal. And then I happen to have some of these Thomas Kincaid images from an old tear-off calendar, so I've included a few of those. This was just a piece of lace that was left over, so I thought I'll include that. And then there's all these little bitty punched shapes. So I've got dragonflies, butterflies, and little hearts that I had leftover paper and so I just punched a few of those shapes out. 
So check out my shop. The link will be in the description box. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you haven't already, like this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Check out my description box for links to other social medias. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every one of you. Have a great day. Bye.